Hey everybody, I'm here today with Trevor who made it to me with made it with me to the finals of today's <laughs> Edison tournament. Uh, Trevor, why don't you go ahead and tell the people what you played today? Well, I played Synchro Cat. Okay. The cat is good. The cat is good for you. And, it it um, is a cat for sure. It do be a cat. But the side deck is the main thing that wins things for you. It really is. Because if you just play it normally, it's already broke. Are y'all done? Dang, man. I know, everyone wants to talk. Go if ahead. You, if you just play it normally, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But like like I said, the side deck is the main thing that like pushes you past like all the good stuff. Because it is a tier like two and a half deck. But you have to play it very correctly. Sure. Um, so, yeah. So you want to just all right. Yep. Yeah. All right, so, cool. Let's so, see what you got. Dad, the boy. Sure. Play the boy. Gores, Chaos, Sork, and Kaios. Yeah. Just all your boss monsters. Rescue Catch Jake was just basically a Kai like a Kaius control deck with hamsters and stuff like that. So you just really, really need to control the board with these. Sure. And uh, yeah, so super self-explanatory. Uh, these are really good with Kaius. They're also really good with Xavier Barry Bellum to synchro with. Good beater in like the beatdown matchups. Yep. So gets over Neos, Neos Alias. Doom Cal, it's honestly bad. Like it's really bad. <laughs> but I have to play it because it's it's caliber cat. But it's good against like recruiters. Uh, it's also good against like gores if you're pushing for like games. So, sure. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, now this, this was broken. I ain't gonna lie, this was broken. I would always do this, and in conjunction with like cards like Call of the Haunted, uh, I actually played Call of the Haunted this time. Uh, sure. It, it just like opened up the plays for uh, the cat and when the X Sabers, and uh, yeah, it just clears away. Yep. So good. Stalls, pokes, cards good. Gale, you need a lot of absolute zero outs. So this is one out to absolute zero just on itself so sure. one card absolute zero outs are really good so uh monk gets the cat there's no sangan because sangan is really bad okay okay anybody can say what they want but you're i'm running like another engine to make it to where it's easier to get to what you want cat to do already sure so i know i'm not making a lot of sense but that's the best way i could put it in my tiny brain okay <laughs> so cat gets the x sabers gets the rikos and the new thing with the deck is two hamster uh, i was running spies because i felt like arc knight was the best arc knight magician was the best card which it still is but this can get this can get this i mean shoot they can attack into this you flip this set that and then it's a black rose on turn two and right people really will play into that really hardcore or you could summon like a beater or you could summon ancient fairy dragon and just stall so this synergized a lot better without the uh spies spies still great but you know it is what it is sure. uh, broken one ofs uh you need to play either this or giant trunade i do this because the art knight you know, you freeze the back row, you just blow up everything. Sure, so, sure. You and always have access to that. I think stuff. that the Cold Wave or True Nade makes sense specifically in Caliber Cat because your pushes are so, so crazy. Sick. Yeah, the tempo swings that you, they, your tempo swings have to resolve or you lose. Yeah, and sometimes, like, dude, like, you can, like, uh, standby phase or uh, draw phase MST. Sure. Uh, and, and, like, it's good to avoid stuff, but, like, just to, like, see what's going on back there because if you Cold Wave, like, you're just ready to roll. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, enemy controller. This card is pretty good. Uh, Hamster is just a body that sticks there. You can synchro right. with their stuff. Uh, a one card, Ab Zero out. Ab sure. Zero is the only thing that really stops this deck. Like, Black Wing sucks against this deck. Y'all can get as mad as y'all want with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's really all it is. And also, like, you could do get out of a dupe block. Sure. So, yeah. Uh, Book of Moon, this card sucks. I don't know why I play it, but I'm still playing it. Yep. But whatever. Uh, two pots, you need to. I always cut one going game two. And uh, three, uh, broken, 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 broken. I wasn't running this for a while, but doing cat and then cat again, getting all your bodies out of the deck is really, really good. So, yeah. It's really, really spicy. Uh, I always run these two in like a control kind of, kind of deck. Like you need to have stuff that equalizes uh, the game. Uh, extra deck, Armory Arm, Cataster, Android. I run pretty much just every good thing. Like anybody that's like tries to explain. Like I'm, honestly, these are the main things that need to be explained. Uh, but these are all stuff that everybody runs. Uh, For sure. These are the ones that are a little, can be a little weird sometimes, but I mean, obviously for the Summoner Monk play with Cat, this one you could stall out like dragons. So, unless right. they, you know, do DD Warrior later, which sucks, but it is what it is. This card's broken. You could make it with Gale. You could also mind control 
car, like a black ring and like special summon the gale and yeah, it's really good. And this obviously, this is really good versus frogs. Like really, really good, puts a lot of pressure. Yeah. Uh, they accumulate a lot of advantage and if you can play through stuff, you'll be good. Uh, now for my side deck, I think that monsters with bodies are like, and really good effects are really, really good because like when it comes to this format, all the broken cards are monsters, JD, like Kyrus, right. like Dad, like so. So if you don't mind me asking, was there anything you specifically were targeting to side against today uh, when you built your side deck? Frogs and like effect mailers and stuff like that. Cause like, dude, like you just need to make the push. You know? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You need to make the push and just go bananas sure. on them. Okay, you said frogs and effect mailers. It not effect mailers, <laughs> sorry, battle fainters. Okay, battle okay, fainters. yeah, 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 yeah. Bad, all right. Yeah. All right, uh, so let's see what you got going on. So uh, Fossil Dyna, obviously. Uh -huh. Like, this card can clear, like, uh, plant boards. I've cleared Sonny's plant board multiple times yeah. this card. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Doom Cow for the uh, recruiters. I mean, sure. like I said, you just put it in against zombies and they struggle. And even, like, someone in this, when they have a plague spreader, they have to waste a card yeah. to, like, put it back. And it's like, all right, like, cool. And they're like, oh, sure. now, now you have one less card for Bria. Uh, Grandma, this card's broken. Play this card. Play yeah. this card. Like, That's crazy. It, it almost made main deck. But like I said, this is an Ab Zero out. So sure. you have to have as many Ab Zero outs as you can. Uh, Thunder King, I don't know. It's good. It's good. It stops stuff. Uh, two Crow, I don't want to get beat by tur uh, Dragon Turbo. So it stays there. Um, Ab Zero out. Uh, stupid Monarch stuff. Ab Zero out. Like I'm telling you, dude, Ab Zero just kills this deck. So I have to have as many Ab Zero outs as possible. Sure. Uh, for the control decks, this is, I mean, this is okay. This is okay. Like, I'd rather just giant true nade, but I feel like this catches a lot of people off guard, especially with, like, Icarus attack, and they, like, tribute their stuff. Uh, for and, sure. Yeah, so, and I could also cut off my oppressions, so. Absolutely. Yerp. Um, so, how, overall, how do you feel about the performance of the deck today? Anything you would change? Anything like that? Uh, before, like I said, I was running, like, Gravekeeper Spy and stuff like that, because I thought Arknight was just, like, the end-all, be-all, but. Sure. Surely there's a lot, uh. A lot of things that you could do with it. I thought the deck was solved, but it's really not. And I don't understand why people don't play this deck. I really don't. Do you think that there's any individual cards or packages within the deck that maybe overperformed? Uh, definitely Hamster, man. I yeah. mean, like, just putting and just summoning an X Saber and just, like, putting it in defense and the threat of the tuner coming up. Sure. They're going to put a bottomless. Or you just flip it and, like, you know, use your smashing round, your Book of Moon, and just, like, knock over whatever monster they have. Like, sure. So, Hamster definitely put in a lot of work. I was yep. very impressed. So. Well, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to show us your deck profile today, and yeah. uh, congratulations on your finish. Appreciate you, sir. Yep, have a good one. You too. Welcome to the top cut. 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 Welcome to the top cut.